It's the new Land Cruiser. Yeah. We're in the premium version out here in the middle of, we, we're not sure where. It's Rattlesnake Land. We are almost is. to the U.S.-Mexico border. We, we are. are. Southeast of San Diego, thanks to Toyota who brought us all out here, to try the new Land Cruiser, which, let's be honest, the Land Cruiser, the Tacoma, and the Forerunner are all quite similar with little nuances. They are. This is the, the famous Land Cruiser nameplate has gotten smaller. It's called the Land Cruiser Prado elsewhere. Yes. This is our first time driving it. Sadly, we will not be on road at all, but we are off-roading it. All I see is sky. sky. It's just but sky. But you can see on the cameras right, right here, the cameras, the cameras are just stuff. always on. Uh -huh. There they I are. I am Good using stuff. the DAC crawl control here, mm -hmm. and you've got the dial here to control your speed. We're You're currently on, at two on miles an hour. off-roading? I guess so. Okay. It takes the guesswork out of it. I guess. Great cars, great roads, and all the reasons we love to drive. Road trips, comparisons, test drives, and podcasts. This is Everyday Driver. The center diff is currently locked. I'm going to lock the rear, letting it do its thing. Oh, you're cranking it up. It's like a volume knob for off-road for off cruise control. Oh, okay. That's we're leaning over. A that's bit an there. angle. That's See, a that doesn't bother you? Nope. Because going it, that way doesn't bug me. Going right, I feel like we're going to roll over. It's funny how <laughs> how the perception is weird. Yeah. Hey, look at this. We've got whoop de doos This is, this course is all carved, and it's cool to be in this because Land Cruisers got uh, portly. They got yes. expensive and mm -hmm. big and heavy. Yes. And Toyota really pared things back, mm -hmm. especially the price. Come on, baby. Yep. Don't have to do anything. Just let let the systems think. <laughs> let the off-road systems think. Yeah, all you've done is barely move the wheel. You haven't even touched the gas. I have cooled seats. You do have cooled I seats. I have a good view. Yes, we got great cameras. This is great. Yep. I mean, this is way beyond fire road, but it's not like full Moab rock crawling. So find yeah. it on the scale there. But it is fascinating to me, a little bit depressing, that the, the, the it will actually drive itself. It kind of does. So I've yeah. pushed the button again to unlock the rear diff. That makes sense. Keeping the center diff locked, and we're still in crawl control mode. It's just it's doing fun. it itself. We're just happy and cool and comfortable. Yeah, I mean, this is, <laughs> how little do you want to be involved in your off-roading? I mean, you could be very involved, or you could let it do it yourself. You, again, it's volume knob for a little bit I more speed. I enjoy letting the systems do this. Okay, all right. Is it more speed to get through this weird section sooner? I don't know. It's just, we, yeah, this is, see, yeah. That, 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 that fall feels over. weird. That feels weird. That feels like we're going to fall over. i got to admit. It feels Surely like we're going to crush this mirror. Surely this thing somewhere in here. Well, you know, we, there's, there's your Oh, angle. there it is. There we're, it is. We're, we're, it, 30 it's, degrees. It's maxed out at 30 degrees. That's as far as the gauge goes, by the way, folks. That's as far as the gauge goes. <laughs> That's impressive. Uh -huh. What's cool with the DAC crawl control is that it's on currently, but I can override it at any time just mm. by t touching gas or brake. And then when you lift off both of those, it reverts to crawl control until you hit the button again to turn it off. Mm. So if you have a little bit uh, more speed, you know, like this section, I don't need to crawl along at three miles an hour. This has the 2.4 liter turbo hybrid, 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque, which is more, you realize, than the Ranger Raptor. 460 what pound-feet of torque? 465. You've got to be kidding. That's a lot. That's a lot from this little tiny 2.4 liter. It's and of course, all about significantly the more than was the, the tried and true V6 that's been in Toyota trucks forever. What's the longevity of the turbo? None of us know. We, none of us know. But it's now a turbo hybrid with mm -hmm. a lot of horsepower and a lot of torque. Plenty of power. Of course, this is the new and interesting Land Cruiser body. Yeah. The 1958 is yep. the alt. And that's the one with the round headlights and looks like the throwback. We decided to get into the modern version. And uh, this is loaded out at, what, $67,000? 60, almost $68,000. Okay, and there's a couple ways to look but at it. But it's not that's 90. A lot. It's not 90, which is what the last Land Cruiser yep. was. And this feels much more ready for you to take out on the trail than the last Land Cruiser, which was leaning into being a luxury vehicle. I know it was capable, but it was leaning into being luxury. Yeah. And you know what? It is impressive. I always like letting the truck figure out and think for me because it's impressive how far four-wheeling has come. Mm -hmm. It makes it so easy. It's democratized it so easily for so many people, and it takes the fear out of it. Okay, all right. You would attack stuff that you otherwise, if you were a newbie off-roader, that you might not otherwise have confidence in. This makes it pretty easy. Yeah, I'm currently using the gas. Oh, Rebel. I'm going a little faster. So we're doing various laps through here. We're yes. doing laps on the circuit. Yes, they made a little circuit through here that is cut through the trees. It's just it's a, little bit of everything. a little too easy. We even got a, 
a water crossing up here soon. We do, yes. Rock gardens, ro water crossings. Mm -hmm. The the 30, 30 degree max over here is a little freaky, but that's okay. Cool. It's all right. So see, we've got spotters. We've got uh, Toyota people here. We've got spotters through the rock garden. Mm -hmm. and another spotter through the water crossing. And then there's a lot of rattlesnakes out here. That's what they're saying. They're saying they keep seeing rattlesnakes, and we're happy to be in the truck. Exactly. Honestly. All right. All right. We're going to let it. the truck do it. Are you? Okay. It's, it's thinking. It's thinking. It's much thinking. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the lots of thinking there is it loaded itself up, but now yeah. it's still, you still haven't touched the gas, have uh, you? Uh-uh. Interesting. All uh -uh. right. That's good. That's good. Just jostled around. It's thinking. It's thinking. I love it. Perfect. All right. He says, uh, he says that was good. Same right. thing here for the water crossing. Yep. Eight-speed automatic transmission on this, and the styling is so appropriate. I call yeah. this mudstered. It's mud and it mustard. Is. Mudstered is very Mudstered. good. I think, that, think? Is, that should be the official name. I don't know what it's really called, but that should be the official name. <laughs> hey, look, cameras. If you don't know where you're going, you've got cameras. Yes, That for sure. is the cool differentiator between old, old school off-roading and the new school Land Cruiser is the cameras everywhere. You've got the side cameras under the mirrors here, and then, of course, the center screen. That is cool. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> we were maxing the You could almost earlier. drive... Just doing this. Yeah, you could. You could. I don't advise that, by the way, but you definitely could. I mean, it's better than looking at your phone, but it all is, things considered. But yeah. if you're so look, used to looking at your screen, you could just go off-roading. you off -roading need a screen, you could off-road with all the nice the screen. size screen yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Don't you think Toyota's done a great job with the styling and choosing to offer both the rectangle and the, the round headlights? The circular headlights for the 1958. Yeah, I think yeah. they've done a great job. And it looks good. I think this looks much more interesting than the old Land Cruiser, which again had become a bit of a luxury vehicle. Mm -hmm. This is a smaller vehicle than you're used to seeing for serious off roading. Yeah, and that old Land Cruiser just got too big and fat. Mm -hmm. It just kind of looked like a blob. <laughs> this one is lean and trim. The styling is crisp. It is very definitive. It's very much within the Toyota styling range for all their off road vehicles. Mm -hmm. And it looks so purposeful. I like the premium, even though it's sixty-eight thousand dollars, but it's not ninety. Yes, and you can the get price these is down. for significantly less if you're getting the base trims and that kind of stuff. The price comes down pretty quick, which is it helpful. does. Yeah. You could get the nineteen fifty-eight version, and that's the round headlights, and, and you've pay got less. The, you can get the the cloth interior. Yeah, you can same go engine, much same more transmission, simple. same exact powertrain. Absolutely true. They so have if you are going to think, if you're going to think about this as a actual pure off roader. Mm -hmm. then you can actually lean into that trim in a way you couldn't in the last Land Cruiser, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. You could actually spec this out more with, for lack of a better way to put it, Jeep Wrangler thinking, and go pretty bare bones and get it much cheaper, <laughs> and it still has the tech Bud. and the drivetrain, which is great. They need a NATO spec version of this. I mean, mm -hmm. there will be more extreme stuff that this can easily handle, but that's pretty significant. That is true off-roading. Well, it's it's much more than the average person is ever going to do unless you are an off-roader. Yeah. If you're an off-roader, that wasn't enough, but that's that's not most people buying, Agreed. which is pretty cool. Agreed. I wish we could take this on road. We can't, but I am excited to drive it. You need to drive this. Don't you think the styling looks great? I actually prefer the rectangle headlights. I, I prefer the more modern ones. I mean, I understand the nostalgia looking back in the 1958. I get it, the two-tone. I understand why they're doing all that. But I just, I like the modern headlights. It feels like the right styling for sure. It's still stadium seating in the back. Yep. Just with a lot of leg room. A lot of leg room. Lot it's of leg so room. great. They've done it so well. There, there was opportunity to screw this up. <laughs> and Toyota's done great things with this. I am super impressed. I If I were in the market, I, I would totally consider a Land Cruiser. It's just cool. It just has cred. This is a, a pretty revolutionary change on what Land Cruiser is. But I think they've gone the right way. And again, overseas yeah. they've been selling the Land Cruiser Prado and the big Land Cruiser. Yeah, and they've true. killed the big Land Cruiser and that's kind of become a Lexus. And now you have this. It's true. I'm excited to drive the uh, the GX Lexus because it's a lot of this with a bigger engine. Yeah, right, right. But this is the more affordable one in the Toyota product. And uh, I like that they took this iconic nameplate and made it smaller. It's I love smaller. That. I am all for smaller vehicles. It looks Bring lighter. It. it looks crisp. Yeah. This is so on point. If you like the 1958, you can't go wrong with that either. Yeah. And that's an even more of a classic look in today's design language. We've gone backwards into boxier with a crisp theme and circular headlights. Pretty fast. Winner. All right, I'm swapping with you. All right.
Mudstered, for don't you think? Mudstered is correct. Mudstered. We need to tell somebody at Toyota they have misnamed this color. Mudstered I, is right. It's mud and mustard. Yeah, Toyota's done a great job with this. You know, this is interesting because it's a significantly smaller vehicle than the Land Cruiser was before, but when you drive it, I'll tell you this right away, it doesn't feel small. No. But it doesn't feel lumbering either. It's not a lumbering they beast. They really have nailed that kind of middle ground in feel, which is hard to do. Yeah, agreed. I'm actually, look at me, I'm driving. You're, doing it. You're driving. Uh, I'm driving. Woohoo! Hey. I'm being an automotive journalist. I'm driving. <laughs> All I see is sky. Oh, wait, cameras. There we go. <laughs> you going to lock the diff? I uh, think you should lock the rear. Yeah, why don't I lock the rear diff? Why not? Let's try that. Okay, I'm just coasting the seal. I'm just coasting. Yeah, see, this is cool. Yeah, it's, it's easy, though. That's the thing. It's just Don't you think it's just made it a little too easy? Well, and, I, and I'm okay, actually having 30 to, like, degrees here. Use, well, hang on. You're going to get your 30 in a minute. 30 degrees up, 30 degrees to the side. Uh-huh. That's, that's what the max of the gauge is. But in a minute, we're going to max the gauge. <laughs> you keep thinking, I'm freaked out for no reason. Wait till the gauge maxes. <laughs> I think you're freaked out uh -huh. for no reason. Okay. All right. Stay with that. Go with that trend. <laughs> 30 we're max degrees. The gauge. I'm just going to lean. See? We're maxing the gauge. The See, the gauge has gone yellow. It's gone yellow. See, it's you're maxing I'm leaning. the gauge. I'm telling you. That's not right. That's officially <laughs> that not is right. That's awesome. But anyway, I'm just going to lean against the gauge. 30 degrees over to here. the right. Is, it, is that significant? Just That's gonna... good. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you could be more hardcore off road than this. But for a oh, person yeah. who's going to drive, the, here's what's going to happen somebody's going to drive this as their daily. Lots of people are going oh, to drive sure. this as their daily. It's got They're street just cred for general daily. General family SUV. And then if they get to something that's hardcore off-road, what I bet is the average owner will never use as much as this is capable of. I agree to that. Even this if they think, well, okay, really I guess we'll try it with the Land Cruiser. And Land Cruiser can be like, yeah, and? I like driving myself. I prefer it. Okay. I just wanted to see the system. I know. No, I, it I works it well. No, it works well. You have well. to let it Absolutely. think. Yep. You know? Yep. And then it'll kick in. It, it is interesting it how when you change up from the going, drive train, yeah. you know, and then it goes. When you change from going downhill to uphill, it has a good think. It has a really good think. Well, it's like, binding huh. up the torque okay. through the drive train. You can just feel the car yeah. flex, and then yep. it's controlled. It's a lot faster when you're not using crawl control. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a pretty short course. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. These things are sweet. Land Cruiser is the best it's ever been. Wow, that's a statement. All I right. think it's the I, best I it's ever been. That. Because I like tech. Mm. I like modern styling. But it's a new style. It's, it's not the old stuff. And I like the old stuff plenty. Don't okay. get me wrong. All right. I think it's just... It's the right truck for the right market. I think it's because that's right why I size. think it's the best it's ever been. Right size. It's for the our right market. size, but it's the right size for modern families, modern buyers. It could go really old yeah. school, or it could go really too luxurious and like Range Roverish. Yeah. Well, that's the way they either. were going. That's definitely the way they were it's going. It's right in between. Mm -hmm. I'm actually. I keep being pleased with the size of this. That's the big mm -hmm. takeaway for me. Is I think it is correctly sized now. I was worried about it not having a decent back seat. Now that it's gotten smaller, oh, that's, that's a fantastic. good back seat yeah. actually, and and nice hatch behind it. Obviously, it's not a seven seater, but you got really good usability out of it. I, I'm kind of surprised at the space in both the back seat and the hatch. I expected one of them would be a sacrifice. This is good on both. But I'm doing it myself. Woohoo! Doing it yourself. All right, the rock garden is a little bumpy. Yeah, it seems like it. That is the intention. It's gonna think. You're gonna have a have, have a think here. No, I'm gonna have to hit the gas. Is what's gonna have to happen. Yeah. Because I'm doing it myself. Okay. Good for you. Ooh. Uh. Like it. Like it. Nice to have the extra spotters, but again, we have the extra cameras. Who needs spotters when I can look at cameras? <laughs> what off-roader yeah. has said, who needs spotters? <laughs> that is the off-road equivalent of hold my beer. That is, you're right. Absolutely true. <laughs> Don't need a spotter. That's absolutely true. That is funny. Can you get out of the hole? Up out of can, the mud. Here we go. Can get out of the mud? I'm going to do it smoothly because I have the power of my right foot. You do. Yeah, I'm not using DAC. You know, we're not crawling nothing. I'm doing it myself. Pretty awesome. You know? Uh-huh. Pretty awesome. I'm going old school. Gas, brake. Oof. <laughs> Terrifying. And yet, it's fine. It's yeah, all of course fine. it is.
If you're a Jeep buyer, you're a Wrangler buyer, I think you could cross shop this. For the way most people would use it, if you're going full Moab, maybe not. Okay, but if well, you're, if you're shopping like a Wrangler or a Bronco, I think you may as well look at the new Land Cruiser. They could do a two-door version of this. They could. And that Wouldn't would that be, cool? be your Wrangler competitor. That would be there. really cool. Well, but, but think about all the four-door Wrangler Unlimiteds, which aren't that usable and aren't yes. that modern. Well, Let's just do this, you know? This is what the Grand Cherokee should be. And this mm. is what Jeep's target for the four-door Jeep should be. Interesting. Okay. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. Toyota needs to build a two-door version of this to target the Wrangler. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. And then they need the to Land build Cruiser. a pickup version of this. Well, they did. That's called the Tacoma. Yeah, it's done well. I I, I look forward Impressive. to the road ride, but I'm I'm pleased by what it's able to do here and knowing that it's going to be better on the road just based on the architecture than something like a Wrangler. Totally. It's it's worth considering for sure. Totally. Land Cruiser in Mudstard. Mudstard. That's the cool premium color. Mudstard. Premium Mudstard. This is the premium trim in Mudstard. That's how top. far we've gone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Those are more Land Cruisers. Those are just cool looking. They're good looking. This is just cool. Looking. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah.